Hi guys, Mama Beach here. I'm a little bit under the weather today, so excuse my nasally voice, but I really wanted to shoot a video for you guys because I got a very exciting bag in yesterday and I wanted to show it to you. And it's so outside my comfort zone. So either you're gonna be really disappointed <laughs> or really proud of me. So let me show you guys what I got. I got a Patricia Nash bag. It's my first one! I've been so excited to try her brand and I've been stocking Patricia Nash bags for months now and just looking and looking for the right one. I really wanted to add a shoulder bag since you guys know I have so many satchels, so many Dooney satchels. I wanted to add a Patricia Nash shoulder bag. And when this one popped up last week, the shape was just so unusual and the leather looked so beautiful on it. I was like... That is the one. So I went for it and the seller worked with me and I was able to do like a best offer on eBay and get it for a little bit less, which was awesome. And I'm super happy with it. The leather on this is just to die for. It is really like saddlery, like fine, fine leather. The color is so warm and saturated. It really has that nice honey tone to it. It's totally smooth all over and it smells incredible. It really smells like like a leather store, like a saddlery store. It smells so good. And it has this cool like gathered detail that I thought was really neat. And you can see the Patricia Nash logo stamped in the corner. And it has these cool handles and these are just decorative. It doesn't adjust but with the buckle detail and then the rivet has the Patricia Nash logo on it. That flower kind of looks like a dogwood flower to me. And then you can see on the side, it also has kind of a gathered look to it. And then the back doesn't have those buckles so that they don't rub against your body. It's nice and flat back here, which is nice. And then you can see the rib the rivets have um, the detail of the flower. And these straps I was worried about because I was really looking for flat straps. I don't always like rolled straps because sometimes they can really dig into your shoulder. But these are really nice ones. They're actually kind of smushy. They're not really hard. So I think that it will be okay. They aren't like a super hard strap. They kind of got a little bit of a smushiness to them that I, that I like. And I really like that they're kind of rolled. They have a texture to them that's really interesting. So it kind of gives it a little something, you know, a little something different. Now, I had read about this, um, some people complaining, and it doesn't bother me, but just so you know, a lot of times her edges will get frayed. And this one is starting to fray. And some people don't like that because they think it makes the bag look a little messy. But um, other people do, and I, I'm going to lean on the do-like it side because it kind of gives it that rustic elegance that I really like about um, some bags. It just, it looks kind of used and worn, but in a cool way. Um, so I like that about it. It almost has like a vintage vibe to it. So the way this opens is also really cool. And another reason why I wanted to buy it because it was different. And that is, it's like a frame type bag. It opens kind of like a doctor's bag. So you just open it like this and you can see inside really nicely. It opens super, super wide and it has two snaps that are magnetic on either side. And then to close, you just close it. And that was, you know, something different. You know, all my bags are zipper bags, which is great. It keeps your stuff secure, but this is just different for me. So it kind of appealed to me. And what it reminded me of when I saw it was the Mitchell Satchel, which is a 14 bag in Dooney and Burke. And it's funny because that's what I thought about when I saw it, except the Mitchell Satchel has satchel handles and this has long shoulder straps. And when I showed my friend Natalie yesterday, she said the exact same thing. She was like, oh, it looks like a Mitchell Satchel. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm not crazy. It is a similar silhouette to that. So if you're only a Dooney person, go look at the Mitchell Satchel if you like this because it's a little bit similar. Um, but let me show you guys the inside. So other than opening super wide, which is awesome, the inside is like so luxurious. It's like velvet. I can't tell if it's velvet 
It's so, so soft. It feels great when you reach your hand inside and the whole thing is lined with it. It's like, oh my gosh. Every time I reach my hand in, it's like my hand is getting a hug. I love it. It's so soft. But I'll show you what can fit in here. It's actually a pretty spacious bag. So I fit all my normal stuff, my glasses, umbrella. I have my small wallet, but I did remember this time to get out my full-size wallet. And that fits just fine. I mean, this opening is giant size. You have no problem getting anything in and out of this bag. And then I have my tissues and my big pouch and my keys are in here. I have my little hand sanitizer here uh, in the little pocket. I will say this pocket, this slip pocket here, is a little small for my phone. Um, but maybe I could put my tissues there. Let's try that. Oh, no, that's perfect. And then it has a zip pocket on this side. And added bonus, I forgot to cover it when we went over the outside just now. There's a slip pocket on the, on the back side, which I didn't even realize before I purchased it. It just showed up yesterday. I was like, oh, bonus outside pocket. I win. So um, that is also a little small for my phone. It fits, but the top sticks out a little bit. So it's not a giant size pocket, but you could fit a phone. Um, I prefer to put mine inside just because I don't want it to stick out or feel weird and fall out. But if you're in a pinch and you want to put your phone on the outside, it might work. And then I got out my iPad to see if this fits, and I think it'll be no problem because, like I said, huge opening. It fits just fine. Just got to nestle it in here. See? Goes inside. And close. Ta-da! Wow! This thing fits a lot. And I could probably fit a couple more things in here. I mean, there's still space if I packed it more efficiently to put more stuff. I don't think it'll fit like a full size file folder or a notebook. You'd have to use like a smaller size notebook if you carry that type of thing. But let me show you how it carries. It's a nice shoulder drop. A little bit of space here. Um, you know I'm a shoulder drop hog, so I would even take a little more drop if that was an option. But this is probably the minimum that I find comfortable. It really fits nice here in the, on the side of your body. And like I said, it's nice and flat. So none of this hardware digs into you on the back side. And you can see the straps are narrow enough that they do sit up on the shoulder nicely. Now I will say it is the elbow test. It's a little bit snug. You really gotta stick your elbow in there, but it'll make it. And it does open nicely when it's on the shoulder. You can really see inside and then easy to close, it just snaps. So that's it. Now I gotta read about this brand and figure out how to take care of this leather. I was talking with somebody on Instagram yesterday when I posted a picture of this and she was telling me it's very similar to Florentine um, in that if it gets scratched, you can rub it out with your finger, it responds really well to conditioner. And she said that she had one that was in similar leather to this that did get water spots when she got caught in a downpour. So I think this will be a sunny day bag because I don't want to risk um, getting water spots on it. But if you are a Patricia Nash person and you know what this bag is or have more information about how I can properly care for it and not ruin it, please contact me because I would love to learn more about it. And I, you know, I'm always interested to learn about leather care. So um, any information anyone has, I will gladly accept it. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Please follow me on Instagram. I post pictures like every day, crazy pictures of all my bags. Um, and my username is mama beach, but that's all one word on Instagram. And I really appreciate you guys watching my channel and being so loyal and awesome. I've been getting great feedback. So I really appreciate you guys. And I hope if this is your first time visiting that you'll subscribe. And keep watching, especially if you're interested in handbags like I am. Alright guys, I will see you next time. And hopefully I'll be feeling better and won't have this nasally voice. Bye.